Hey YouTube, this is Ben Potter here and got a new pedal lineup uh, to show you today. You can see I've taken the pedals off of my uh, pedal board and I've been kind of playing around with some order and stuff like that um, because this week I picked up the Full Tone OCD. You can see it right there on the end of the chain. Um, so the other pedals you've kind of seen before if you've been uh, watching my channel, you know that I'm running into a Pod HD 500X, uh, which you see up there at the top. Um, playing at my church, stage volume is kind of an issue, and so I feel like the Pod HD 500 is a good option. You can get some really killer tones out of it uh, without having an amp and stuff like that, so you don't have the stage volume to deal with, and it takes pedals really well. So you can see here, uh, before I uh, before I put these back on the on the pedal board, I wanted to just kind of show you a little bit. I'm starting out with the uh, MXR Custom Comp. Um, actually first I'll run into my VP Junior, uh, but right now I'm just hitting the custom comp first. It's uh, laid out similar to a Dynacomp. Uh, you've got the output and sensitivity controls. The difference is underneath you have an additional uh, setting to adjust the, they call it trim, and it kind of adjusts the high frequencies of the pedal. And then there's an attack knob uh, underneath inside the pedal that you can adjust as well. And it's taken me kind of a while to really get it dialed in the way that I want it. Uh, when I first got it, I think I felt like the highs kind of jumped out a little bit, so I went underneath, turned the highs down, and then I felt like when I kicked it on, I kind of lost uh, some of the brilliance, some of the top end of the tone. So it took me a while to kind of get it set to where I feel like when I kick it on, it's still, it's pretty transparent, it's not really coloring the tone at all. Um, I also played around with the attack. I use, I don't use compression as an always on, I use it either to help sustain chords or if I'm doing kind of some riff, kind of some single note stuff, I'll use it to kind of boost that a little bit. Um, and also I like to use uh, a compressor to kind of add kind of some clickiness to the attack of, the, of, of each note. Um, so it's taken me a little bit of time to get that dialed in, but I think I finally got it how I like it. Then I go into the MXR Microamp, which is just a simple uh, volume boost pedal. Um, I really like it. You can use boost. I use it in front of my overdrives so that I'm boosting the volume a little bit, but I'm also adding some gain for some lead boost and stuff. You can also run it after your overdrives uh, to just give you a volume boost of your of your tone. Uh, you can use it in front of a tube amp to just kind of push that front end just a little bit. Um, you can use it uh, with a tube amp. You can use it as like an always on pedal and maybe dial the knob back to about 11 o'clock so it just kind of warms up the front amp a little bit. Um, a little bit. So there's tons that you can do with a um, with a boost pedal. Then I go into the EHX Soul Food, which is a Klon clone. Um, and then I go into the Shelly Guitars OD Overdrive, which is more of a Tube Screamery like pedal. It's got three different clipping uh, options. It has kind of that um, kind of that uh, Tube Screamery type clipping. It's got a Clean Boost uh, setting, and then it's got a MOSFET clipping. It also has three EQ options. It's got a flat. EQ, which still pumps the mids a little bit, um, but it's, you know, it's a little bit more flat. It's got more of a mid pump setting, and then it's got a low boost setting, which if you're using kind of the bridge position on a strat, uh, that really kind of helps to fatten up the tone. And then last uh, but not least, my new addition, the Full Tone OCD, um, which <coughs> is uh, more of a transparent overdrive it doesn't it's more of a well I guess more of a flat overdrive it doesn't really um, change EQ wise your tone that much it just kind of adds some gain it does change the characteristic a little bit um, but it really sounds killer um, one of the things I've been looking at this pedal for a while and one of the things that's kind of worried me is is it going to be too much gain because um, I don't really use I, I use drive a lot but I you know I use gain pedals a lot but I don't have a lot of gain on those pedals and um, you know you can see I've got the, the gain um, as the knob up there on the upper right I've got it dialed back pretty far but um, you know it's not it's not too much for what I would use um, also because it's flat it stacks incredibly well um, so you can stack it with some of these other pedals and get some really killer tones uh, for me I found I like it best at the end of the chain um, but you can kind of play around with it see where you like it 
Um, the other cool thing about this pedal is that if I do need kind of a, a kick in, you know, heavier rock distortion, um, if you, the little toggle switch up at the top switches from a low peak, which is uh, lighter on the overdrive and is more of a kind of more of a fendery tone, I guess, to the high peak mode, which gives you more overdrive. Um, and it also gives you kind of a martial tone. So if you kick it into the high peak, um, you know, roll up the drive a little bit, you get a really killer kind of classic rock overdrive tone from it as well. Um, so which I'll try and show you a little bit later. So uh, let me go ahead and just show you some tones. I'm running uh, into the HD 500X USB into my laptop uh, recording the tone. I'm using the JTM 45 amp model. I'm using a Epiphone Dot um, uh, electric guitar with um, the uh, Alnico humbuckers in it. Um, this is the bridge pickup clean tone. <laughs> So let's listen to the Shelly Guitars OD Overdrive. And the OCD. And the Soul Food. Up to the neck pickup. So that was with the um, the uh, custom comp there. Um, let me show you uh, the let me show you the MXR uh, microamp. With that setting, it gives you quite a bit of volume boost, but also really uh, kicks in that gain. Um, here's kind of some lead stuff.
Lastly, let me go ahead and show you uh, that high peak mode on the OCD. So here's the, uh, the low peak. I'm going to leave the settings the same and just switch the switch up to high peak. it adds some volume it adds some gain it kind of changes the voicing a little bit my favorite setting um, with the high peak is to pull the gain up just a little bit back the tone off some back the volume off and compensate <laughs> That's the, the new pedal lineup that I've got going on, uh, the OCD being the new addition. Um, kind of got the compressor dialed in a little bit better how I like it. Um, one more thing really quick. Let me switch back to kind of my usual setting on this pedal. And let me show you just really quickly how, they, uh, how the OCD and the OD stack together. So here's the um, OD. <laughs> and adding the OCD. Thank you very much for watching. Um, that is, uh, like I said, my new lineup of the pedals. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Have a great day.